at the back of the Deffy Wind, and we have got an exclusive for you. You can see they're all packing up. Everyone's going home, but we have got one last reveal to make. We've been asked to join the man in the background over here for a secret, secret rendezvous. We're like, what's going on? He's like, turn up early before everyone gets here. Like, okay. We've been waiting half an hour. They're Italian, so they're late, obviously. But we're here now. They're rigging up something new. We don't exactly know what it is, but it's a secret. What is it? Let's go find out. Let's go find out. It looks, it looks like a sail. <laughs> boys, boys, boys. <laughs> I was just saying, um, secret rendezvous. Secret rendezvous, yes. The Italians were late, of course they were. <laughs> of course, because I thought the Brits were going out fighting. <laughs> yeah, the Brits didn't live up to their expectations. <laughs> Talk me through it, because obviously, yes. What, what, what have we got going on? Because obviously we're here, we're at the back of the Deffy Wind. Yes. You so... don't want people to see it, and I'm looking at it. What have we got? Exactly. We were actually bringing the sale here because we were thinking to present the sale. Okay. But we thought, no, maybe not. It's still too early. Not because we're not ready with the pro project. We're going to be ready with this project in October. So the okay. sales are going to be available in October. And what we have here is a new construction for the sale. It's nothing which is like new in the sailing world. Yeah. But it's new in windsurfing at this level. Okay. So what happens is that the sale doesn't have any more stitching. Okay, so I was just looking at it then because obviously it's the first time we've seen it and I was thinking, yes. looks like a sail, no cam, okay, and then actually you don't notice at first. No, it looks you like just a very... clean. It just looks clean. It just looks clean and it's actually like, it looks like a normal sail. That's why you can't really realize that it's different because we are using exactly the same materials that have been used till today in windsurfing in our sails. Yeah. You know, so there's no different materials on the sail compared to the stitch sails that we are normally doing. But this sail is actually cube bonded. Cube bonded means that it's uh, put together, the panels are put together with uh, the cube bonding, bonding method, construction, which is actually welding the panels together, the parts together. Okay. So it's welding with ultrasound. So okay. it's not glue. There are different methods of, let's say, putting the sails together without stitching. One is ultra bonding. Ultra bonding has been seen in windsurfing already. I was going to say, we are just yes. thinking the same thing. I think I'm sure we've seen some... Yes. Welding is what they called yeah. it. Yeah, well, so ultra, what was that? What, who... Ultra bonding is actually using a gun. Okay. So you're putting together the panels and the parts by using a gun which puts glue to the panels, hot glue of course, and then it's like sticked. Okay. And that's just glue. Yes, it's not it's not ultrasound uh, welding okay. like what this is. There have been some brands which have done some parts of the sale with um, Q bonding. Okay. So a brand has been doing the part of a glue. Some brands have been doing just the center parts of the panels, but they never have done a proper uh, full cube bonded sail. Why? And because there are a lot of difficulties in uh, Okay. because you are using a machine which is quite heavy and uh, you have to move this machine at a certain speed, at a certain temperature. You need a very special surface. So there are a lot of details that to make it work and to make a clean job, you know, also with taping and there are a lot of details that you need to actually develop, okay. understand, try. And it's not only trying then to put it together, it's also you have to try to see how long it holds on the water, you know. So you must, have, I'm guessing you've been doing it for a while. Seven years. Okay. <laughs> okay. Seven years. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we haven't been working seven years, 365 days a year, yeah. you know, 24 hours a day. Yeah. But it was, we started uh, seven years ago. I have a friend and um, he has a sail loft in Fuerteventura. And he was working for a big sail, uh, wind, uh, sail sailing um, loft. And they were using this method for their sailboats you know it was holding huge boat sails so yeah. he said why don't we just introduce this into a windsurfing sail so when he told me the idea you know we went straight to buy the machine we bought it in italy we brought it to the canaries and we started making the first files because the files have to be different for this type of sail okay. because you're taking out all the reinforcements the moment you're not stitching you're not making holes into the sail yeah so you don't need any reinforcement okay so the you're taking out a lot of let's say parts that you don't need so you're saving weight yeah and um, and so everything has to be designed in a different way. So we designed the files, we made the first sales, and the result, we were starting with wave sales. 
and the result was actually very noticeable also on wave sales, which you would might think, you know, maybe you would feel that more like on a big yeah. slalom sale or actually the result was also already already good on a wave sale. And we wanted to build the sale like this. But of course you cannot it's very hard to find a production company for sales at the moment, you know, in China and Sri Lanka who would accept to start a yeah. complete new production line with a new And guarantee, I guess. And guarantee, like, you know, they're like, well we have to use glue, you know, it's it takes long. You need I mean you can it's like to build a sale, you need one machine and one person. You can't okay. have like some parts made one side, one part made side. It's like everything has to be done almost by one person. Okay. And so we had to figure out in production how to make it efficient as well. And the first step was like, no, we don't want to do it, you know. So we went on with our project a bit slower because there was no production who was accepting to do it. And uh, last year, you know, we finalized the project in all our sales uh, models. And we used it like five years. We were 100% sure that this was the way to go for windsurfing sales. And therefore, we went a bit more aggressive on our okay. <laughs> supplier. And he was actually ready because they were doing some small tests with them as, as well. And they were like, okay, we can, we are open to do something new. So we were like two months ago in Sri Lanka okay. at our factory and we did the first production sales. My first thought is, are you doing the full range then straight away? What, 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 how's it, how are you, are you rolling it out in specific no, let's, categories, let's say? Let's say that, you know, we, we're starting the production. So it's not something that, you know, you make some custom sales, some special limited edition okay. sales. So it's going to be a real production. Okay. And this was our aim. We didn't want to make some special sale for a few people or just yeah. like, just for the image. You know, we wanted yeah. to make a product that really worked and was going to give an advantage compared to what is existing now. And so we are going to do two lines. One line is going to be the Q bonded line. Yeah. Which is, which is this one, which is this one. And then we're going still to continue the stitch sales because of course the price levels are going to be different. Okay. So we want to give the opportunity for people to decide what, you know, yeah. what they, I mean, to give it, we want to give an option to, to our clients. So yeah. we're going to do both. We're going to start, of course, the production is going to be a bit, we're not going to start with like, you know, the same numbers as the yeah. stitch sales because they have to get into the production, you know, so we want to make sure that they're done, that all, you know, that also the production gets used to them. So we're going to start with, uh, the smaller number of sales produced a day and we're going to be ready in October and we're going to start with the racing sales so like the AC1 slalom fin okay. sale and uh, the foil uh, F1 sale and the freestyle sales these are going to be the three models that we're going to start the production with so, so let me get it straight so you're going to have the race sale normal and you're going to have the race sale yes. with a cube, cube. yes Q-bond, okay, Q-bond, Q -bond. Q -bond, yes, exactly. And give me an idea, rough price differences. Is there a big price difference? Is it, you know, small? What's the... It's like, uh, we're ready to produce, but there's still some details. Okay. That we are still, like, getting some quotes, you know, to see how to make it more efficient, okay. you know. We have some parts we are now producing in Italy, okay. but just because it was more comfortable for us to get them produced in Italy. Because you're but closer to the source. And yes, and we had to we had to design them, you know, like okay. button tensioners, for example, one of the pieces, you know, and so we were working like more like on a custom project. Yeah. But now because we're going to do production, you know, this, let's say, heavy cost on small parts, you know, yeah. they're going to be reduced a lot. Yeah. And we're just waiting for the final quotes. Okay. I believe that the price will be higher for sure because you have to think that you're using thread on one side and on the other side you're using the q bond tape okay. and the q bond tape is like uh, one euro 30 one euro 40 per meter okay yes against the thread which is actually yeah thanks, thanks. Uh, you know yeah. what it is but you know on one side you're taking out uh, materials reinforcements so yeah. it's, it gets cheaper on one side on the other side we're using more expensive machineries to weld the sail yeah. and um, you know it takes more uh, precision also, you know, it's like not just stitching, like going fast, yeah. you know, you're using a, this machine, so the time is longer. Yeah. So, you know, I, I believe it's going to be a bit more expensive. People are going to ask, how long would a sale like this last? Is it is this something that, you know, I'm, I'm sure my first thought is, does it peel off after a certain time when it's in the sun? Obviously, you've done these tests. I just want to ask yes. that question. I'm sure people will be asking. Yes, you know, if, you know, some people are asking me this, you know, because yeah. they believe that we just came up with the sale and yeah. we're just like new on this. But it's seven years, so we have experience now. And also when we talk with, you know, who's making this, um, let's say the taping and all this. With the yachts. And the yachts and stuff, yeah. they have a lot of experience as well. But you can, um, you can be guaranteed that before the welding breaks, it's, it's easier that it's the monofilm is tearing. Yeah, okay. So it's like, there's no way 
to open the welding. It's much yeah. stronger than uh, than stitching because stitching you have holes in the yeah. end, you know, and this is creating a weak point. Here you don't have any holes in the sail, yeah. so the welding is just eternal, you know. Yeah. And if you break something, if you crash it, you know, it's not going to tear on the on the welding. There's no chance. I now here there are some stones underneath, but I could if we would have a flat surface, I wouldn't care to jump on the sail. Okay. You know, with my whole weight. Yeah, yeah. You know, even you know, yeah, hang it's not sail. the seams that are going to go. No, they're not no, the weak spots. No, they're not the weak spots. Is it? I mean, it is interesting because over the years, I mean, this is talking about something totally different in DIY. You know, you see people put the stuff on the walls and stick bricks to the wall and stuff. You know, yes. Stuff has moved on. Yeah, you know, you know, MotoGP bikes are also glued nowadays. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, automotive uh, in the automotive gluing is used a lot now, not only for soft parts in the car, but also for the, let's say, more structural part of the yeah. cars. So gluing is has become like very used in a lot of uh, different uh, products, and uh, it's strong. And you know, it's we still use some stitching, which is just for the moment on the mass leaf. Okay. So the sail body is fully bonded. There's no stitching on the whole sail. It's just the mass leaf. So the mass leaf is just still stitched to the sail body. And uh, we are doing this because, you know, it's like um, we could also do the bonding, but um, it's one of the parts where I'm not 100%, you know, yeah. still feeling confident. And I like the transition that the mass leaf has with the sail with the stitching. Yeah. So. You know, we really did it where it made sense. Okay. So not just going. We have some stitching on the on the back side of the sail. Yeah. But just because we like it. Okay. <laughs> okay? It gives it a border. It gives it a border, you know, and uh, it's not because we, we, we could just even not put it there. Yeah. But then I'm scared that, you know, it's like people could get cut because you just have a live monofilm. Yes. Okay. Or if you, you know, hit a rock from the back, you know, it just gives a little bit more finish to the sail. Yeah. It looks like a, a finished yeah. finished product gotcha. with a little bit of stitching but it's not a structural part yeah yeah yes and uh, even the mini buttons are are cube bonded you know there's no stitching on the button tensioners okay you know and uh, so but the, the main benefits is the weight well or, there are three is three, it the flexing or the you, you know, know i was never uh, never one enthusiast about weights in the gear yeah. because i think that the sail has to work yeah and so when you're using materials that work, you know, sometimes they're a little bit heavier than materials which can be looking, feeling light on the beach. Yeah. And then you go on the water, they're actually stretching. inflating, stretching, and, it and makes then it, feel heavy. it makes it feel heavy, yeah. you know, so I always work to make the sail feel light on the water and not working on the weight, you know, to make something light just because, because it, it just can make it more fragile. And then, as you said, you know, it's just inflating in the water. Mm. So we actually use the materials that we had before, but because there are no reinforcements, much less reinforcements. It's, it got lighter. So I'm here with now with a 6.9 AC0, which is our no cam. And this in the stitch, in the stitch version is around 5.2 kilo. Okay. And in the bonded version is 4.5. So you have okay. 700 grams less oh, that's a, that's a, in a five that's kilo a range. That's a chunk in terms of percentage. Yes. And uh, that was without changing practically nothing into yeah. into like having something special inside the same buttons, you know, same materials. So. But what will you notice in terms of feel? Like the of feel, the sale? this what? is the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. This, the, the feeling is the main thing. It's one of the other main things, which when you go into water, you know, the holes and the thread are actually stretching. Okay. You know, so you're getting the gust, the sail kind of deforms and then it accelerates. Okay. Here you don't have that. The, here you have you know, an immediate pressure in the sail and an, an immediate acceleration. That's okay. where the light feeling comes from then. Okay. So that's the lighter part of the of what you feel. Yeah. It's not the weight, so the physical it, weight, it, but it's it more... kind of like having a good mass versus a very soft mass, yes. you know, like where something has that retention. Exactly. But at the same time, you know, sometimes when you go also too reactive on something, then yeah. it becomes maybe uncomfortable because okay. their, their reflex is too fast. Yes. But in this case, because the materials are the same, the profiles, the opening of the leech, the mass, everything stayed the same as a stitch sail. Okay. You know, you just have an, an, a higher efficiency efficiency of the full windsurfing integrated rig. So you actually feel this higher performance as soon as you hit the wind. Yeah. That is just, you know, a lighter feel in the hands, the extra acceleration, the stability increases because yeah. there's no movement in the sail. So, you know, like I was testing last time before I came here, this sail and, you know, going downwind, I could actually feel that I was just more stable, you know, and I yeah. could get to a higher speed because I had more control. Is there, there's a less stretch, like, you know, because it, it's well known when you get a new sail, 
it, it, it stretches. Is, yes. Do you are you getting the same stretch? Absolutely. With... It's even it's even a bigger factor here. Okay. You know, the first ten minutes you go on this sail yeah. because of course it's welded. It doesn't have this. It doesn't loosen up as fast as a thread okay. and all the insignia that you're using between the. Th the yeah, yeah. When you're on the water, you know the first ten minutes. Actually, the, you know, on the wave sails, you know, I was when I tried them first time. For example, you know. Mm, I was not the first one to go on the sail, so it was already stretched, you know, and I felt like immediately, like, I was like immediately enthusiastic about yeah. the sail. But when I started building the first one and tried them myself, I was like, you know, the first time is like, my God, this is not working, you know, yeah. there's something very wrong. You know, I was feeling like pushing the board down, stiff, you know, and then after 10 minutes, it just starts stretching. Yeah. But the stretch is much more than, um, I mean, it takes longer, a little bit longer. Yeah. And it's not so immediate. But when it happens, you, you feel the magic of the sail. Okay. So you need to have a little bit of patience, like, you know, like maybe 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, and then yeah. the sail becomes amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's one of the other thing. And then, of course, is the durability of the sail because the welding, you know, it's uh, it's stronger. If you take, for example, um, two pieces, two panels stitched yeah. and you just make a small cut and you just take them and you start ripping it, yeah. you know, you would just rip it through also the stitching. Yes. If you took this, once you get to the welding, stops. Stops. There's no way to. Let's say the worst happens. You break the sail. Massive <laughs> I was waiting for this. Massive <laughs> End up through it. What's the theory there? Well, let's say that if you will break the panel and yeah. not the welding. Yeah. So you can just repair it as a normal sail. Okay. And um, you know, I would try to repair it the smallest area possible to keep yes. it more. I mean, that's normal in any sail. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, you would not break actually the, the welding part of the okay. sail. So it's just the monofilm and you will have to stitch it, of course. Okay. Yes. So just like any other other sail. Yes. Well, interesting. I mean, we are, what are we now? June? The first of June? First of June, yes. When are we, when's this video coming out? If you're telling me, like, well, have a look at the comments, but it's, okay. it's launching, you're expecting? In aut earlier autumn. Early autumn. Okay. Early autumn. We're expecting this. Now what we have here is something that is like not a final yeah. sale. I mean, after we, this is like, you know, we went already ahead because of course. Because you so you're changing the shape compared to the stitching sale a no, little not, bit or it's not, the same? It's the same, but okay. we can, because this, let's say, welding of the sale makes things so new. Yeah. You know, there are so many details that the normal sale has. That it's not needed here. Yeah. Every time we were building a sail, you know, we realized, oh, no, we, we don't, don't need, need that. Okay. we don't need this, you know, or oh, we don't need that, you know, and it's like, okay, we can save time in building it. Yeah. You know, we can make it more efficient. It will work even better. Okay. So it's like it was a dis continuous discovery during these years, and of course, you know, we were making the first production sails in the production factory. Okay. And we realized there even more things because, of course, you know, it's different when we would make it in our loft. Yeah. Or when the uh, or when the they, they would do it in a, in a production yeah. you know so the, when you go to a production you have such a bigger um, overview of what is possible and what is available you know that you just get so many new ideas all the time we go there and uh, yeah so cool. this is let's say not the latest, yeah, but something which gets kind of close. Yeah, interesting. Yes. Well, thanks a lot for inviting us here. Thank you, Ben. I don't know what date it is right now, but I have a feeling this will be the last video from the Deafy Wind. Stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe. Did you like that video? I hope so. But if you did, plenty more videos. Did you miss this one? You probably missed that one. Or did you miss this one? Yeah, I thought so. Uh, well, you probably haven't subscribed if you missed it. So subscribe to the channel. Uh, and if you do like what we're doing, you can chip in some beers over here. Thanks for the support.